So how far away from a nuclear blast do you have to be in order to survive? Well, the question is, and, and there's a lot of similarities to how far away from any other kind of a bomb blast you have to be to survive. With the nuclear blast, you have the actual overpressure, the wind, so to speak, and then the heat. And that can go out for one, two, three miles. Depends on the size of the bomb and how high up it is. A ground detonation does less than what you get from an airburst. And so if you're on the order of, say, 10 miles out, you're not going to be get you're not going to be hit with the blast and the heat now you're looking at potentially being the fallout but the fallout tends to take a pattern that might be like a cigar and so it goes in the direction of the wind and unless you're really close to that fallout your dose is not going to be too high and only the people that are actually monitoring the weather and the wind at the altitudes because an airburst is going to have some that's going to be lower and some that's going to be higher and you can have differential wind directions with altitude and so that needs to be monitored thanks for asking